Okay, so this is the first question for today. And here is the exam details and everything. You can just note this thing. And again, we are going to practice some questions for uh, AP and GP, automatic progression and geometric progression. Okay. So let's get started. The first term of a geometric progression and the first term of an arithmetic progression are both equal to A, right? So both the uh, progressions have the same first term that is A. The third term of the geometric progression is equal to the second term of the arithmetic progression. So we have some information given. The fifth term of the geometric progression is equal to the sixth term of the arithmetic progression. Given that the terms are all positive and not all equal, find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic progression in terms of A. Now this is a six mark question and we do have some information given and we'll see how exactly it would be done. Okay, so let me just underline a few things. First thing is important, but the main stuff has started from here. So it says the third term of the geometric progression. Now, if I talk about the nth term of a geometric progression, so this is my geometric progression and the nth term is basically a r n minus one, okay? So if I talk about the third term, third term would mean n is equal to three. Third term is equal to a r three minus one and this is equal to a r squared. So the third term of the geometric progression is equal to the second term of the arithmetic progression. So let's talk about AP here. And if I talk about the nth term formula, what is the nth term formula for AP? Yes, it is A plus N minus one into D. Very good. So the second term is going to be A plus two minus one into D, and this is going to be A plus D. Now, the examiner has told you that the third term of GP and the second term of AP, they're equal. So I can write it as AR squared is equal to A plus D. This is the first thing I was able to make using the given information. Okay. The fifth term of the geometric progression. Now they're talking about the fifth term. So if I talk about the fifth term, fifth term would be equal to a r power four. That is equal to the sixth term of the arithmetic progression. So the sixth term I'm writing it down directly now. It is going to be a plus six minus one D that is five D. And again, they are equal. A R power four is equal to A plus five D. So this is another thing I have. This is the second information. And now what is the question? Given that all uh, the terms are positive and not all equal. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic progression in terms of A. Okay, so let's just focus on this part. We'll come back to that later on. It says find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic progression in terms of A. So now what do we need? I'll, I'll get back to this, uh, these things, but I need to find the sum of the first 20 terms. So what is the sum formula? It's n divided by 2, 2a 
plus n minus 1 into d, right? This is the sum formula in case of arithmetic progression. Any confusions with this? No. Achha, now, in, now they want us to find the final thing in terms of a. Now, I would be able to find the final thing in terms of a once I have this d in terms of a because obviously for n, I'll plug in 20, a is a. And the only challenge is to convert this d, to write this d in terms of a. Now, how do I do that? I'll do that using the two equations I have. Okay. So we have multiple ways of doing it. It's completely your choice, whatever way you want to do it. Finally, we need to make D, we need to write D in terms of A, right? So first of all, we need to simplify this. Okay. Now we have equation one as A R squared equals a plus d and then it is 8r to the power 4 equals a plus 5d. What I can do is I can just consider this for now and I can just multiply a with it. Now obviously here just think about these two equations as two simultaneous equations, okay? Your method could be different than mine. That is irrelevant. The end goal is to write D in terms of A, okay? So you guys can uh, give it a try on your ends and I'll do it here. And then at the end, we'll see if you are able to find the correct form or not. Please do try it with me because, you know, this thinking process is very, very important. You need to do this on your own as well because this is something that is using your previous knowledge, right? We are trying to solve this simultaneously such that we are able to find D in terms of A. That is the only thing. Miss, at the end, I reached a r to the power of 4 minus 5 a r square minus 4 a is equal to 0. You still have r in your working? Mm, yes, ma'am. So that is fine. That's fine. But, um, you know, the elimination method, try using that and try getting rid of r because we know that in order to find the sum in terms of a, we just need this d in terms of a. Okay. So just try eliminating that r. And then obviously, if you're not able to do it, then I'll explain even I'm doing it over here on the site.
acha munja you can also give it a try i'll give you guys one more minute i know you are you both of you are very honest don't do get my working just try eliminating our bio own okay because we know what is our end goal we need to write some in terms of a only so we need to have d in terms of a and you have two equations try playing with that such that you are able to cancel r with r Miss, I don't. Um, I I end up finding a in terms of d, which was two d. I don't know how I got there. You got a equals two d. Yeah, that's how I ended up. Okay, okay, it's okay. Let's let's try doing it. Rafe, should we try it now? Yes, miss. Okay, now I'll tell you. So one second. Let me just. Keep, okay, just look at this thing. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure that we know what exactly we need to have, but we don't know what exactly we need to do. The question says, find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic progression in terms of A. And if I look at the sum formula, here is the sum formula. Everything is fine. I will plug in N equals 20. That would become a number. I have A. I only need to write D in terms of A. So I know what I need to have. I have equation one and two written in the green boxes and I need to play with them in order to just get rid of R just so I'm left with A and D and finally I would be writing D in terms of A. Now if you think of O levels, we used to talk about simultaneous equations there and there was mm -hmm. this elimination method. Okay, Now elimination method was never that straightforward at times we used to subtract two equations then we used to be uh, able to you know uh, just uh, get rid of the other variable but at times we had to multiply something divide something and then we were in the position to cancel out that variable now i know that here i have r squared and here i have r power 4 so what i need to do is i need to have r squared here but if I multiply R squared in equation one, I would have to do that on left side and right side and automatically even I would get R power four here, but I would get an unwanted R squared here. So that is not going to help me with this, okay? The next option. The next option is if I can square both sides of equation one. So if I square this, if I square this, this is going to help me and this is what I have done, okay? This is the equation number one. Let me just erase that. Okay, this is equation one right here. So I have basically squared both sides of equation one. When I squared both sides of equation one, I got a squared r to the power four and I got a plus d whole squared. So this equation one, ended up like this okay Achha. i was able to find r power 4 in 1 as well and in equation 2 i have just multiplied na so this was my equation 2 
I have just multiplied a on the left side. I have multiplied a on the right side. And here I got a squared r to the power 4. And this is what I got on this side. And why have I multiplied a? Just so this and this becomes exactly identical. Okay. So now I have a squared into r power 4. a squared r power 4. And now I can directly disequate these two equations. I can directly just equate a plus d whole squared and a into a plus 5d. And this is what I have done at this point. Next, I had a plus d whole squared. I've expanded that. I've cancelled a squared and a squared and I just did some simplifications on this side. And at the end, I got d equals 3a. Yes, now you can ask me any step that you guys were not able to understand? Yes, uh, Rafi and Munja, anything? Um, um, can I just have a sec? So I can just uh, look. Mm -hmm. Just like this and now. Yes, you can. You can take a minute and just look at it and okay. then ask me. Okay. Oh, thank you. No problem. Means, mm -hmm. um, down below, uh, equation two in the green mm -hmm. box. Uh, there. This one, uh, yeah, from there going downwards, um, those three or four steps, I didn't understand them. Okay, okay, one second. So, basically, mm -hmm. this is coming from here, okay. This okay. was equation one. Equation one is a r squared plus uh, equals a plus d. First of all, mm -hmm. I've squared both sides of equation one. One second. I think I should just erase all of this and then do it directly because the steps are not done um, properly. That is why it's just, you know, getting more difficult. Achha. Equation number one. So I, I can see one and two right now. I want D in terms of A, I need to get rid of this R. So first of all, I am going to square both sides of 1. Mm. I'll square this and I'll square this. Why? Because I have R power 4 here. So I want R power 4 there as well. And this would give me A squared R power 4 equals A plus D whole squared. Okay. Any confusions with this? No. This is again equation number one okay okay next i had equation two and now yes i can also what i can do is i can do one divided by two when i will do one divided by two i would be able to oh, cancel okay. r power four and r power four that should also give you the same thing but it would be a bit more complicated why because I would be dividing the right sides of 1 and 2 as well. And this is being divided. This is a linear stuff. Although I can again multiply, but let's do it this way. Let's do it this way, okay? So equation mm -hmm. 1 divided by 2 is going to give me, it's a squared r power 4 divided by the left side of 2, that is a r power 4. Then it's a plus d squared divided by, a plus 5d. Now I'll just cancel this with this. I'll cancel this a with this 2. And I am going to take this on the side. So I am left with a multiplied by a plus 5d equals a plus d whole squared. Okay, and I'm getting exactly the same thing and it was not complicated at all. So it's a squared plus 5 a d equals i'll expand this 
This would give me a squared plus 2ad plus d squared. a squared and a squared would be cancelled. And I am going to get 5ad minus 2ad equals d squared. And 3ad is equal to d squared. And this, I'll just cancel this d with this one. And I am left with 3a equals d. Yeah, okay. So That's this cool. is basically how I got this. Okay, so now we can just erase this. Yeah, okay, it's more clear. Thank you. Yes, I agree. Okay, uh, now at this point, what I need to do is I have the sum formula written. The question was about finding the sum of first 20 terms. So I need to make it for first 20 terms. It is going to be. S 20 equals 20 divided by 2. 2 multiplied by A plus 20 minus 1 is 19 into D. And I'll write D in terms of A. This would give me 10. So S 20 is equal to 10 multiplied by 2A. Plus again, we have uh, 19 multiplied by 3. This would give me 57A. And finally, I am going to get 590A as my answer. Let me check the answer from the markings. Yes, that's right. It's 590A. Okay. So yes, now you can ask me if you have something. No, Miss Eddie, that's clear. Okay, very good. Let's talk about the next question then. This was from the latest year. Um, okay, this is May June twenty twenty two. Okay. All right, okay. So this is the question. Acha, it says the second and third terms of a geometric progression are 10 and 8 respectively. Find the sum to infinity. Now, I know that sum to infinity basically has a formula that says a divided by 1 minus r. Now, I need a. I need r. I've been told that 10 and 8 are the second and third terms respectively. So the second, the so first term is not there, like A is not there. Then we have 10 and then we have 8. I know how to find R. I've told you earlier as well. Just pick any pair of consecutive numbers in the sequence and then just take the second one and divide that by the previous one, okay? So this is going to give you 0 0.8. So finally, we have R, and R is basically equal to 0 0.8. Yes, what is A? Now, one thing is clear. This is A, and A would be multiplied by 0 0.8 in order to get 10. So this means that a multiplied by 0 0.8 is equal to 10. So this means A is equal to 10 divided by 0 0.8. And you can just simplify this in order to find the value. 12.5. Very good. So this is going to be 12.5. And now things are very, very easy. You're only supposed to plug in the values uh, in the formula. So S infinity is going to be 12.5 divided by 1 minus 0 0.8. And you are going to get 62.5 as your final answer. Now, one thing that's very important, as I've told you, sum to infinity is only possible when your R is between minus 1 and 1. So make sure if by any chance you get an R that is greater than 1 or less than minus 1, just know that you are making a mistake, okay? This is going to be 
a method to know if you are going in the right direction or not. For sum to infinity, r has to be a decimal number. It has to be greater than minus one and less than one. Always remember. Okay. Anything that you would like to ask? No. Okay. Let's talk about the uh, another question and here is the here are the details just note the details okay here it is acha so it says the 13th term of an arithmetic progression is 12 and the sum of the first 30 terms is minus 15. Find the sum of the first 50 terms of the progression. Now you can note one thing when the sequence is given, the examiner, yes, he can still mention if it's AP or GV, but when the sequence is not given, he's certainly going to mention if it's an arithmetic progression or geometric progression. Number two, mm -hmm. some, uh, data is given, some information is given in the question, you need to use that English statements, convert them to mathematical equations, and that would be solved simultaneously. And then you would be able to find this thing. So this is how every other question is so far. Okay. Achha. Now let's just uh, do it directly. The 13th term of an AP is 12. Okay. So nth term of AP is what? Yes, what is nth term of AP? It's A plus N minus 1 N into one. D. So 13th term means N is equal to 13. So A plus 12D. And the sum of the first 30 terms is minus 15. Now, what is the sum formula? Sn is equal to n divided by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. And these formulas are important. And make sure that you use the correct formula. This is for arithmetic progression. Next, n is 30. So S30 is equal to 30 divided by 2. 2A plus 29 into D. And this would be simplified. And we know that this sum is basically equal to minus 15. So minus 15 is equal to 15 into 2a plus 29d. This and this would be cancelled and I am left with minus 1 equals 2a plus 29d. Okay. And here we know that the 13th term was 12. So 12 is equal to a plus 12d. Let me just double check if both the equations are correct. If I have made any mistakes. So here we have 13th term and that is correct. And then we have uh, minus 15 and 15 to A plus. Yes, it looks fine. Okay. So these are the two equations I have. Okay. What was the question? Okay. Now I need to find the sum of first 50 terms. Same formula would be used, but I need A and I need D. And how am I going to find A D? using equation one and two. I'll be solving them simultaneously and I would be able to do it, okay? So it seems easy, it's not difficult. I can write A as 12 minus 12 D. So I'll use, using A equals 12 minus 12 D in equation two would give me, it's minus one equals two into A plus 29D 
minus 1 equals 24, minus 24D plus 29D. I'll take this minus 24 on the other side. This would become minus 25 equals 5D. And this implies that D is equal to minus 5. I got D equals minus 5 and now I need A. So we know that A is equal to 12 minus 12D. A is equal to 12 minus 12D. So this means that it would be 12 minus 12 into minus 5. And A is going to be 72. And now I have A and D. I would want you guys to plug in everything in this formula and tell me your final answer. Yes, please do it quickly. Minus 25. Miss. Yes. 